Welcome dear students to today's session of Summit for Max. Subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for further notifications. Let's get started. In today's session of algebra we have a problem. Music has been played in two opposite galleries with certain group of people. In the first gallery a group of four singers were singing and in the second gallery nine singers were singing. The two galleries are separated by the distance of 70 meters. Where should a person stand for hearing the same intensity of the singer's voice? Let P be the position of the person who is standing at a distance D from the second gallery having nine singers. Since the distance between the two galleries is 70 meters, the distance of the person from the first gallery is 70 minus D. Given that the ratio of sound intensity is equal to the square of the ratio of their corresponding distances, we get 9 by 4 that is the ratio of the sound intensity is equal to d squared by 70 minus d the whole squared which is the ratio of the square of their corresponding distances. Now cross multiplying we get 9 into 70 minus d the whole squared is equal to 4d squared. So 9 into 70 squared minus 140d plus d squared is equal to 4d squared. Bringing 4d squared to LHS we get minus 4d squared plus 9d squared plus 4 4 1 double 0 minus 1260d is equal to 0. So we get 5d squared minus 1260d plus 441 is equal to 0. We have a common factor 5 here. Let us divide it throughout. So we get the quadratic equation as d squared minus 252d plus 8820 is equal to 0. Let us solve this quadratic equation using splitting the middle term. Product of which is 8820 and sum is minus 252. So the roots are 210 that is minus 210 and minus 42. So D minus 210 and d minus 42 are the factors of the above quadratic equation. So we get the values of d as 210 and 42. d cannot be 210 because the total distance between the two galleries is already given to be 70. So, D cannot be more than that. Therefore, the person stands at a distance 42 meters from the second gallery should be the answer. The next question for today's session is, there is a square field whose side is 10 meters. A square flower bed is prepared in its center, leaving a gravel path all around the flower bed. The total cost of laying the flower bed and graveling the path is at rupees 3 and rupees 4 per square meter respectively and the total cost is rupees 364. Find the width of the gravel path. So this is the area 
which is going to form the flower bed let us assume the sides of the flower bed as a so area of the flower bed is equal to a square so the second one is area of the gravel path is equal to 100 minus a square area of the total garden is 10 squared which is 100 meters squared so it is given that the cost of laying the flower bed and graveling the path totally is equal to 364 So we get the equation as 3 into a squared that is rupees 3 for making the flower bed. So into the area cost into area. So 3 a squared plus rupees 4 for graveling the pathway into the area that is 4 into 100 minus a squared is equal to the total cost 364 so we get the quadratic equation as minus a squared is equal to minus 36 so a squared is equal to minus 36 which implies a is equal to 6 We are asked to find the width of the pathway. Therefore, width of the gravel path is equal to 10 minus 6 by 2. Here, let me explain. The length of the garden is 10 meters and the flower bed is A. So, 10 minus 6. And we have two widths on either side of A. This side we have a width. And this side we have a width. So we have to divide it by 2 to get W. So it is 4 divided by 2 which is equal to 2 meters. Hope the session was interesting. For much more, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.